hello everyone so in today's video i will discuss diffusion pump in the previous video i discussed about the rotary vein pump rotary vein pump is generally used for the low vacuum it can also be used for the backup pump and when you need the high vacuum so then we need some other kind of the pumps and diffusion pump is one of them which can create the high vacuum so diffusion pump can create a vacuum of uh, 10 to power minus 8 pascal so this is one of the choice if you want to create the high vacuum okay so this is the physical picture of the diffusion pump you can see at the lower part at this part uh, this lower part contains the heater and the fluid which uh, the heater will heat up okay and then this middle cylindrical part this has different stages vacuum stages okay and the top part this part is connected to the chamber which you want to evacuate okay so this is connected to the chamber and you see here one opening at this point so this is connected to the four pump okay so this part is connected to the four pump. so if we see the schematic uh, the cross sectional and the schematic so we can see here at the lower part we have this electrical heater and then this is on the top of this we have the fluid okay so we use the liquid and this heater heats this fluid and this oil is heated and this when this oil is formed in the vapor, vapor form so this goes up so inside these tubes and you can see there are like four stages a b c and d and diffusion pump can also have uh, means more stages uh, more and even the less than this so there can be three there can be five stages so depending on the diffusion pump so let me describe here what we have like we um, talked about in the what is the physical picture so here you can see that we have this cooling tube at the side here just to cool down this oil so and then this upper part is connected to the chamber which we want to uh, evacuate and this part is connected to the four pump okay so now what happens we uh, start the heater and we heat up this oil and when this oil is heat up this vapor actually goes uh, in this tubes uh, so this vapor jet goes to the tubes and if you see the cross sectional schematic for this so you can see that this goes all the vapors are going through the tube so this is let's say different stages and when they are going they are hitting this umbrella type structure okay so th all these vapors are hitting suppose they are hitting here this is hitting here so these are hitting the umbrella type structure and then they are coming down through this nozzle so there is nozzle and they are coming down through this nozzle and they these vapors vapor jet are coming down with a very high speed so this is supersonic speed okay they are coming down with very high speed so what happens when this vapor jet is going through very high speed actually the vacuum is created so if you see on the top the vacuum is very high so here the vacuum is very high 
and if you see the middle section so at a stage the vacuum is very high and b and c vacuum is uh, moderate lower than that and then d basically is for the uh, four pumps okay so this vacuum is very high so what happens all these gas molecules these gas molecules from the chamber okay they because the vacuum is very high so they actually diffuse down okay and trapped with this oil vapor okay so these molecules atoms or the molecules of the gases they trapped with the oil vapors and they coming down with very high speed and since this oil vapor actually hitting this uh, cooling tube so they are also condensed and then after condensing they are coming down so when they are coming to the next stage again they are getting the heat uh, from the vapor jet and further they go down so this way actually all these gas atoms or molecules they are going down so it's like uh, when a train you are standing at the railway station so you are standing here okay at the railway station and the train is passing with a very high speed okay so what happens there is a tendency that when the train is passing with very high speed actually this is creating low pressure so before you so there is a probability that you will actually incline towards the station right so because the pressure is low so the pressure at which you are standing that will actually push you forward so same thing is happening here so when this uh, vapor jet are going through the supersonic speed they are creating the low pressure and because of the low pressure all these atom and molecules of the gases from the chamber they are coming down they are trapped with the oil vapor and then these oil vapors are condensed okay and after condensing this oil is collected here okay again at the in the same space and what happens all these atoms and molecules of the gas which we want to evacuate from the chamber they are actually pumped out through this four pump okay so this oil will be collected here and these atoms and molecules of the gases they are actually pumped out through this four pump okay so this is how this diffusion pump works and uh, there are some other kind of the pump which can also create the high vacuum for example the cryo pump turbo molecular pump so in the next video uh, we will also discuss other uh, types of the pumps and if you want to know about the rotary vane pump i will put the link of my previous video so you can check this rotary vane pump in that video thank you